Hey, what's up guys? This is John from Linkswall in this special Christmas time tech tip. And we're going to be talking, in this tech tip, we are going to be talking about how to add wireless CarPlay to your previous generation T-Style. So that's Gen 2, 3, and 4. If you're looking to do wireless CarPlay, this is the video for you. So let's go do it. Hey guys, it is the Christmas season, so I thought I would just deck myself out just a little bit uh, for this Christmas time video. Now there's a good chance you're watching this in the middle of summer and it's gonna look awkward, but when I made it, well, it was Christmas time. So we're doing it. Got my bell on, it's driving me crazy, but it's cool. All right, back to the video. We are talking, <laughs> adding ourselves wireless CarPlay to your previous generation uh, radio. This has been a question that's been asked probably a lot over the time. Uh, Generation 5 when we released it, the wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto was actually one of the big features uh, that we added and since then uh, we get even more people asking, hey can I add this to my Gen 4? And the answer is yes, it just requires some extra parts and so we're going to talk that through. So we have this uh, dongle here, it's going to require this dongle which is going to add uh, the components needed to do wireless CarPlay. Uh, you can get that from any one of our dealers. Uh, Amazon does have a few uh, variants out there as well, uh, but you just want to make sure uh, for our video We're gonna be talking about auto kit. So ours is an auto kit uh, USB dongle what that means If you have generation 2 you're already running auto kit for your phone link app if you're generation 4 You're actually running Z link which means you'll have to install the auto kit app And so that's where we're gonna start We're gonna start is if you don't have the auto kit app and you just purchased this dongle so we're going to walk through how to add the app, how to make sure the app and the dongle are updated, and then we'll talk about how to pair your phone to it. Uh, so that is the order upon which this video shall be shot. So let's do it. Hopefully you've got that dongle in hand. Hopefully you've gone out to your vehicle and your vehicle is turned on. And the first step, if you are um, generation four, you're gonna to have to install the AutoKit app. Now for generation two or three, again, you already have the app, so you can just kind of fast forward uh, past the installing of the app. But this is how you'll do it if you've got a generation four. So get your radio connected to some Wi-Fi. Make sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi. Go ahead and go open up Google Chrome. You're gonna to go to our website. That is www.linkswellinc.com. I'll put it down here. Uh, linkswellinc.com and your page should look something like this up on the top right you should see three uh, three lines basically telling you there's a menu there we're gonna tap that then there's an arrow for support we're gonna tap the arrow for support and now where you can see where it says T style apps we're gonna select T style apps very similar to when you're updating Z link because we're going on to the same page and what we're looking for is auto kit and you can see where it says gen 3 and below that's because that's what comes with its stock. It will still work on Gen 4 and Gen 5, I guess, if you wanted to do auto kit instead of Z-Link for your wireless. Um, so actually, you know what? Let me just pause for that for a moment. If you do have a Gen 5 and you're like, hey, I want my radio hooked to Wi-Fi and do wireless CarPlay. I mentioned in my video on how to do wireless CarPlay. This is your key. This is how you would do that uh, because this is adding that secondary Wi-Fi chip that allows the CarPlay to have one and the radio to own the other. So this is actually for you Gen 5 guys. If you watch that video and you're like, hey, how do I do that? This is the one. Welcome to my video. And yes, okay, cool, sweet. So we are here, Auto Kit. We're gonna tap the Auto Kit link, which is actually gonna kick us into a Dropbox folder. Um, and just like every other one of these videos I've shown, um, you don't wanna hit click, get the app. I know you may think that's the right one, but actually it's asking if you wanna download the Dropbox app, so don't hit that. You're gonna hit continue to website, which is gonna take you to uh, this APK file. And you can see right down there at the bottom, it says download because it can't be previewed, which is what we wanna do. So you're gonna tap download. It's gonna ask access for storage. We're going to allow it. We're gonna download anyways, because we know it's safe. And then the file is going to download. So now once it's downloaded, it might give it a minute, depending on your Wi-Fi, how long it'll take. We're gonna open up File Manager. And then inside File Manager, it's just gonna look just like your computer, like every other video I've showed you. Um, we are gonna scroll and look for the download folder. And there you can see AutoKit APK is right there. So here's how you do this. You tap it, 
it's gonna say do you want to install actually sorry we're gonna have to approve that it can we're gonna hit yes tap that and then that back arrow next to uninstall apps or install unknown apps uh, and now we tap install and now the app is going to install app is installed we're gonna go ahead and open it now here is a key first we want to make sure we give all of the um, access to it because it needs to get to the computers and stuff so make sure you allow all of the settings and now that it's installed see here's what I'm telling you guys uh, this here has firmware in it the app itself has firmware in it and the firmware is ever changing the cool thing about AutoKit is you actually can check for updates using the app and Wi-Fi so I can promise you right now the APK that is on our website that link is probably an older app so once you install it and it's all in there and you're looking at this home page like we're looking at now the first thing we want to do is actually hit that um, gear icon so that we can get into the settings I'm gonna go ahead and plug my dongle in and it should pop up on the left hand side uh, yes we want to always open when it's connected and so you can see down at the bottom there it's telling us that there's updates for both right there is an update for the auto kit and there is an update for the box hear me say this you have to make sure both are updated if one's updated and not the other We've seen all kinds of crazy things happening because these two things are going to be talking back and forth to each other. And so when one's updated and not the other, it seems like every 15 seconds they're trying to talk and the communication isn't right. And what ends up happening, it would be like your computer if you just kept opening pro programs, open, 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 open. Eventually your RAM's going to crash out and then the radio's going to do all kinds of funky things. So before anything, make sure both of these guys are updated, the app and the box. And it's as simple as making sure, like I said, you're connected to Wi-Fi. You hit that gear icon, you can scroll down here where it says check for updates. So we're gonna go ahead and hit auto kit upgrade. We're gonna let the app update first. Again, this is gonna be, depending on how fast it is, is gonna be 100% depending on how quick your internet is. Should be fairly quick. We're gonna allow from this source and go back one more time. We're gonna hit install because now it's gonna install the new version of the app and then we're gonna go ahead and open it and we're gonna uh, allow it once more yep we want to open that and then let's go back to that gear icon give me a second it's connecting to my box and so after we've updated the app we want to make sure that we can update the dongle Give me a second here. Oops, I hit the wrong button. That happens, guys. App list. Let's go find Auto Kit. There's Auto Kit. And now we're back into the menus. You can see there's actually some more menus now because we've updated it. And now it's going to check for apps. So it sees it sees that the app is updated. And now I got to get it to see my box. Give me a second here. Plug it back in. I actually may need to restart the app. This is this is one thing that sometimes happens, guys, is the USB loses its connection to my box. Uh, if you are using Generation 4, um, you are better off not using the phone link USB. Just an FYI there. So let me close these apps out real quick. All right, guys, we are back. Sorry, I had to restart the radio. Didn't want you guys to have to stare at me looking all funky. Uh, just one of those things. Sometimes a computer just doesn't like connecting and you have to restart it. Same thing with us. Uh, so we are restarted, rebooted, went ahead and reopened up our auto kit app. Um, you can see where it's saying, please connect phone, which means it's seeing my box. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that gear icon again uh, to make sure that we can go in here and check for updates. We're gonna go ahead and hit recheck updates. And you can see now on the left-hand side, it tells us that the app is already uh, up to date. But on the right-hand side, our box has an upgrade. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna tap box upgrade. Uh, it's gonna run its update. Again, 100% depending on how quick your internet is, will be how fast this happens. And then it will link and we will rock and roll while it's updating. I'm actually gonna grab my phone uh, so that I can prepare to connect. There we go, we're gonna go ahead and it's gonna upgrade. 
This is the process, guys. This is just what you want to make sure you're doing. Now, for those of you who have this dongle, um, know that as Apple does updates and as Android does updates, sometimes if you start to find glitches, uh, things that aren't working like a delay in phone calls or an echo in phone calls or like a delay in playback, uh, stuff like that, uh, this is where you would want to go. You would want to start here and uh, make sure that you have updated both the box and the app. Make sure they're both updated uh, so that they can work. So, boom, there you go. We are updated. So you're gonna go ahead and grab your phone and you're gonna connect this CarPlay pretty much the same way that you connected uh, Z-Link if you guys have watched that video. Uh, but you're gonna go into, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and allow this again because we've updated. Yes, yes. All right, cool. We're gonna go into our phone and we're gonna open up uh, Bluetooth. And then from Bluetooth um, is where we're going to search. So you should see on the home page of your AutoKit app right there on the top right it says AutoKit BT215. That is the device that we're gonna be looking for. So we're gonna open up our Bluetooth on our phone and we can see my top option is that one. I'm gonna hit okay and we're gonna pair it. Give it a second, let it do its thing. I've got all kinds of things connected to my phone today. And bing, bang, boom, wireless CarPlay is gonna start connecting. Um, at some point I should get an alert on my phone just like you did on Z-Link saying, hey, do you want to approve this connection? And we'll hit yes, but actually at the moment, give me a second, I need to turn off screen mirroring again, otherwise <laughs> it's not going to. Uh, set up like it did on Z-Link. So this might not power on quite yet. It's gonna take a moment because I had screen record on. Uh, but that essentially, guys, is how you will add wireless CarPlay to your generation two or three or four uh, T-Style. You wanna get the, uh, the dongle. You wanna make sure that it is a wireless dongle. The previous gen, um, gen twos, when we were sending out those dongles, were not wireless, they were only wired. Uh, so you have to make sure that that dongle is a wireless dongle. Um, you're gonna have to make sure that you install, if you're doing a Gen 4 or even a Gen 5, you're gonna have to make sure that you install that AutoKit app from our website, just like I showed. And you wanna make sure both the dongle and the app have been updated, and then you'll pair it with your Bluetooth, and uh, CarPlay will work. That's all there is to it, guys. That is how you add wireless CarPlay video did not go as smooth as I had hoped, but I do hope it's helpful for you guys. I hope you guys all have a Merry Christmas and a good New Year, and we will see you in our next video. Peace out.